Well, it's the 1st of May. We're going to see our good buddy Jay Siemens up in Lake of the Woods on the Ontario side. So we're driving up today to Kenora, Ontario. We've got about a 12 hour drive ahead of us. And we are looking forward to hopefully getting out on some uh, Lake of the Woods where I've never been. Somewhere up there and maybe fishing for some pike. So I've got the fly rod packed. And uh, we'll see what we can uh, get into up there. I'll just, I'll just pick the area. Perfect. So if I go tools, Alabama. Yeah, maps. Uh, yeah, so there's kind of that status if you wait for it once. Yeah. We are, uh, we got the boat hooked up. We're about 10 minutes from the launch. We have a nice calm day and hopefully we get into some early season jackfish, AKA pike. There's lots to talk about, but right now we're gonna show you kind of what we're doing to this trolling motor and how it's gonna help us out today. All right, so we're gonna open up the box. It's a brand new unit. So this is it. This is a ProNab GPS unit. Nice. We're gonna add this up on top of the trolling motor shaft right in here. Yep. And this unit's basically gonna take this old power drive and it's gonna let us anchor. It's gonna let us create routes right on our phone using satellite imagery. So for these bays, it's gonna be great for pike fishing. We can create waypoints, hit go, and this will keep us at a cruise control with this motor so that we can follow that shoreline in the bay and hopefully catch some pike. If you buy a boat stock from a dealership, it probably is a power drive, right? Like these are, exactly. this is the standard. So we're gonna breathe some technology into it. So this just tucks right in under the head of the motor. So yep. it's nice and secure here. So I'm just gonna line it up straight with the motor. Turn this tight, and that's our GPS. So this is our adapter. Yep. This is what we call the lower unit. Plugs in to the base of your foot, uh, foot pedal for that trolling motor, yep. just like your foot pedal. The long cable is the GPS connector. See how the connectors match? I'm gonna slide this right up through the coil. And we'll tighten that right down. So we've got our foot pedal here, yep. and I like to use that still as like a manual control. Yep. Plug the foot pedal back into this lower box right here. Yep. Just same thing, twist together. And the very, very final step is connecting this power cord right here to your battery. Yeah. And there are an unlimited number of ways to do this. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what the easiest one is just for today, is to literally run our leads directly to that trolling motor battery, yeah. which is located right in here. All right, motor is all rigged up by Mr. White. Uh, I'm gonna throw the drone up, we're gonna launch the boat. We're gonna get piking. All right, so Travis hey. is our fly man. Is that is that your go-to when you have the option? I think I'm a fly guy. I love it. The big right. toothy pike are the perfect target for All a fly right. rod. This is what I'm using. This is this is big and loud. Not too windy today, but we're gonna kind of get as far back as we can and see if they're stacked up like cordwood. I, uh, I can't wait for a fish to see it. Once he does, well, a hungry fish. Yep. Once he, oh, oh, oh. There you go, perfect. <laughs> that was good timing. That was good timing. You, you uh, should just, all, all the time bomb this. Oh one. yeah, he's about the tallest one in the lake. <laughs> actually, yes. actually, I tell you what. You got him? <laughs> He's about the size of the fly. Gotta love it. Get right in here, get right in here. <laughs> That's why you come to Canada, folks. Go on. She gone. It's our biggest fish yet. That might be net worthy. Yep. That's net worthy. Nice. There we go. That's a good one. Scoop. Sweet. Have this one. That is more we're looking for right there. She's a beaut. They do get bigger in Canada. That is still like a 32 inch pike. 40 is kind of like a benchmark we're looking for, but as long as they're getting bigger, the water is cold. So these fish stay very, very healthy. That's awesome. It's not like a summertime pike that gets all stressed out. <laughs> awesome. Well, as we move further back, uh, there seems to be more fish. So now we're gonna try something that's pretty cool with the ProNav. Um, so there's an app for your phone. So we're gonna pull up Google Maps, you can do it with Navionics as well, but we're gonna look at this channel behind us here and we're gonna plot a trail through the channel. We're gonna set our points, just like setting a trail on Navionics. And we're gonna say, go on the trolling motor and it's gonna follow that entire trail just based off of that image. The cool thing is you don't need service to do it. You can download the maps beforehand. Okay, so we have our location now. You can see the channel we want to fish through to the back. So I'm going to click route, uh, create on map. Correct. 
and I can just start making points. You got it. Press and hold. How many points do I want to make? Oh, I don't know. Make as many as you want. Okay, so keep making these dots all the way through and hopefully it'll lead us through this channel. All right, so we got the route to the back of the bay. I just press go and the trolling motor will start you got going. It. Yep. All right, this is the test. I'm gonna put the drone up. You guys can be the judge of how this works and we're gonna keep pike fishing. I think the warmest water is gonna be in the back there. So start route. Yep, start route. You guys hear that? Pretty cool that you can just focus on fishing. Take your hands off, does a full route, and we're getting into. I think we're going to catch the most pike. So, looking pikey to me. Oh, we are hooked up. Ooh, that's decent. I'm on net duty. I think this might be your biggest. I think so. Lake of the Woods pike yet. I think so. We're upgrading. We don't have a lot to beat. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's a nice one. Nice. I'll take it. Nice. Nice. Like the woods pike. My best one so far. Took the white and black fly. Beauty. Not a fat pike. We're not going to call it fat. No, we won't call it fat. We'll call <laughs> it a pike, though. It's good. <laughs> that was the old cartwheel release. That was a cartwheel release there. All right, sun's out. Guys, I'm gonna give you a little demonstration. Travis is a good fly fisherman, so I haven't had to teach him this because he already knows. But in pike fly fishing, there's something called a strip set, and it's different than trout. When you're fishing for small stream trout, you do more of a trout hook set. For pike, you do a pike hook set. So right now, I'm gonna hold this fly in my finger so that hooking myself, and Travis, uh, lift your rod, like do a hook set. So that's Travis setting the hook. I can hold it with two fingers. Do that again, do it hard. Yeah, like he's not gonna pull it out of my fingers. So now if we do the same thing, point it right towards me, and he's gonna do a strip set. He has pulled it out of my fingers. So just show right there the strip set. I'll pull it out a bit. But basically what he's gonna do, pull. So he's pulling the line right towards himself, and you're not losing power on the bend of the rod. When you lift the rod to set the hook with a fly rod, like uh, bend the rod, there's just so much bend that you lose the power. So if you can pull right towards it, there's a bit of a stretch in the line, but you're drilling that hook into the fish. And there's two reasons that you wanna do that. For one, you're gonna hook that fish way better. But secondly, if you strip it and the fish misses it, he gets a second chance to come back and hit it. If you lift the rod, you'll lift that fly out of the water and that fish will lose the tracking on the fly. So there's so many times that you'll do a strip set. You might, you know, just get a piece of them. That fish will come back and eat it a second time. Oh, did I just lose it? No, 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 we're good, we're good. Holy smokes, this fish has been just cruising at me. This has some weight to it. I had my drag cranked. Oh, it's a nice one. It's better. Biggest bike of the day. Oh, it's fat. Nice! Oh, that's a big one, yeah! That's good. Awesome. That is what we came for, and that is one of the best options when the ice first comes out, or still on the lake, is big, fat pike. I think she's gonna be good. This cold water is key. Yeah. Wow. Nice release. Sweet, <laughs> so good. Well, I think maybe let's... Oh, baby. Is that a walleye? Big, big walleye. Big walleye. We got a big walleye. Oh, this is sweet, Jay. <laughs> this that is a good one. Oh, that's big. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's good. That is a sweet walleye. First lake in the woods eye right now. Walleyes there. are closed right now, so we're gonna just pop the hook out right away and let it go. We'll give you guys a look without taking it out of the water. Look at that fish. Wow. That's big, that's 28 plus yeah. probably. Early. As you can see, when you catch fish out of season, put it back as quick as you can, minimal handling, and uh, that's, that's a big walleye. We're good, we're hooked oh, up again. Right beside the boat. That was a cool eat. I'm going super long on the net. Okay. Oh, geez. 
Oh, that's coming a good right one. In, coming right in, coming right in. Oh, oh yeah. One. yeah. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. Wow. Guys, look at what's in his mouth. Wow. Is that a pike in that's his mouth? That's a pike in his mouth. This fish has a whole pike in him. I don't know if you guys can see that tail in there. Boat side eat. Boat as good as it eat. gets. That was as good as it gets. Short and fat. It's a gator. So we've got about 20 minutes left, sun setting, but through the course of the day, we've had a lot of warm uh, sunshine warming up this bay here. And I've just been kind of slow rolling the swim bait in about six feet of water on these mud flats. Jay's throwing something a little bit different. Oh, how's that feel? Put me towards you. Oh, I got one. Doubled. This is it. We're ending the day on this, Travis. Yep. Hopefully yours is good like this. Cause... Oh, this would be a great shot. <laughs> yep. All right, we have landed these two pike, and this is how we are ending the day. Right there, Lake of the Woods. Ice is still on the lake, but the pike are chowing, and that is a sweet double header. <laughs> wow. Awesome day. Check it out ProNav for the first time. If you guys are interested in learning more, I will be doing more videos with them because that's what's gonna be on my kayak. This is a great day, Jay. Good job, buddy. Love it.